Okay, so thinking about our differential equation and to kind of fix my picture here, now I know that it's not leaving at 10 gallons per minute, it's leaving at six gallons per minute. So let's think about, so what's coming in? Well, it's still coming into the tank at 10 gallons per minute, but now instead of those zero pounds per gallon that we were expecting for the fresh water, now I know that we have one pound per gallon in, wow, I think it'd be hard to put a pound of salt in a gallon of water, but I'm gonna ignore that for a minute. <laughs> and now let's look about what's leaving. So we know that it's leaving at a rate of six gallons per minute. And this is where things get interesting, this term back here. Um, and I wanna squeeze that over just a little bit so I have just a little more space. So we've got six gallons per minute for the flow rate, but now we need something with units of pounds on top and units of gallons on the bottom. This is still flowing out of the tank, which means the pounds of salt in the tank is S. But now let's think for a minute about what's happening with the gallons. So each minute, I'm pouring 10 gallons in, but I'm only removing six gallons. So each minute, I have a buildup of four extra gallons in the tank. Although I started with 150 gallons, that now means that I have those initial 150 gallons, and then each minute, or T, I'm adding four more gallons. So this is gonna look like 150 plus four T. Ditching our units, I'm now looking at something of the form DS DT is equal to 10 minus 6S over 150 plus 4T.